Ahoy there, YouTube! We're back again for another live gameplay video. Another game that I got at Origins. I've actually got a chance to play this about uh, four times today, and I'm going to be playing it with my lovely wife. And that is Sports Dice Baseball. So Sports Dice Baseball from FunWiz. You can expect to review to be coming up soon. But I'm going to be playing with my wife, and we're going to get her opinion on it. She has never played it, so I'm going to be teaching her the same way I am, same time I'm teaching you. So I've got everything set up. We have our three balls right here. This is an extra ball right there. And in this game, we are going to play three innings of baseball. So my wife is going to be going uh, first, so she is going to be the batter first. So she will get the six batter dice. On the six batter dice, you're going to have... Oh, wrong dice. Sorry. Oh, no, that's right, dice. That's the wrong dice. What the, we got it mixed up. Uh, the, the, no, there it is. Are you sure those have gloves on them? Yeah, we're right. Okay, sorry. So, on the six batter dice, we're going to have balls. We're going to have uh, two baggers. Uh, we're going to have another ball. We're going to have a 1B, which is a single. And we will have a home run. So, there's singles, doubles, uh, home runs, and then balls on here. And on my balls, <laughs> my, uh, on my dice, I'm going to have Ks, triple plays, double plays, out and that is it. What's the K? K stands for strike. Oh. Actually, yeah. So it actually stands for strike out, but in this sense, it's going to stand for strike. So what we're going to do is we'll place our guys here because it looks really cool. I'm the pitcher. You are the batter. And we're all going to roll our six dice at the exact same time. Now, the only thing I haven't mentioned right here is going to be this chip right here, the sports dice chip. This is the tiebreaker chip, and it will come into play in a second. So let's just start, and then you'll see exactly how it works. So simultaneously, we're going to roll our six for our dice, and we'll compare. Oh. So I have three Ks, which means, uh, and you have... I got a home run. You get, yeah, it doesn't count. So you take you whatever is the most count. popular. So you have a 1B, which is a single. Aww. Now, here's where the tiebreaker chip comes into play. Now, if you had four 1Bs... You would have four singles, and you would have more Ks. You would have more than I have. So you're going to take your biggest one and compare it to the other person's biggest one. So three Ks oh, okay. versus three singles. So now you have the option to win this tiebreaker if you're willing to give me the tiebreaker chip. If not, this will be a strike. Now I will say tiebreaker chip, generally a really good thing to use when you're going to score or when you're going to get people out. But, but now it might not be a bad situation either because it puts you on first base. Well, sure. So, you're going to use it? Yeah, why not? Right, so it goes to me. We flip it over, even though completely unnecessary. And you are, you go to first base. You got a single, put your next guy up, and bada boom, we move on. And move on. All right. All right, so I have three strikes, three Ks. I've got three Bs. All right, three balls. Uh, I am not going to use the chip here because it really be, wouldn't be worth it. So the batter wins. So instead of a strike, since we have three Ks, it will be... Ball one, and then we roll again. It's a very fast paced game. All right, I got four Ks, four strikes. I got four two Bs. Uh, so this would this is where I now have a choice. I can either let you get a double, or I can give a strike. So I am actually going to give you the tiebreaker chip, and we're going to turn that into a strike, and then we will roll again. But now you have the tiebreaker chip. So, I have three strikes. Yeah, three balls. All right, so you can either take the strike or you can give me the tiebreaker chip and make it do a ball. Okay, just because I'm not a baseball person, what happens when we get up here? Four balls means you get to, uh, you get, get this guy base. goes to first base, this guy would go to second base. Just taking the ball, so ball two. And we play over three innings, uh, in case you're wondering. So, I got four Ks. I got three Bs. Three Bs. Strike two. Let's sit you down. Sit it down. Three Ks. Probably not going to do it. Actually, it is enough. So we have two singles versus three Ks. So strike three. This guy's out. We go on one on the out track. And then oh, we reset. Just like that. So you now have one out. Guy on first. I got four Ks. You got nothing. No, Strike. I got two and two again. Three Ks. I'm not very good at rolling. Four balls. Four balls. All right. Ball one. We got one one count. Man on first. One out. Top of the first. 
Three balls. I got three triple plays. So, a triple play works... Uh, normally, a triple play, if you had two people on base, would mean all three people get out. But in this situation, since there is one person on base, if I take this triple play, it will give me two outs, which will actually get me out of the inning. So, I will win this tiebreaker, and both these guys phew, are out, which means boom, boom, three outs. Oh, and now I'm tricky. on offense. So... Team Melina has zero. Team Forrest has, well, now I'm up to back. So now you don't have any. We switch dice. And there we go. And, I mean, <laughs> that really is the entire game. Uh, very simple. Let's see if I can do better. Ooh, three doubles. Tell me that's going to get there. Two outs and... Double! That's what I got. Woo! Yeah! That's a nice way to I'm not start. Very good at rolling these. You got a guy in scoring position. Uh, four balls. How? How? You're cheating somehow, right? Uh, this is, that, that's pure luck, right? It is pure luck. Yes. <laughs> I suck at this. Four balls. I think you just suck at pitching. I think I just suck five at five balls. Pitching. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Do I ha even have to roll? Are you kidding me? I tied. Oh, so now, well, here's the thing. Do you want to use the tiebreaker chip just to get one strike? Probably not. Why? Because, because it's a ball. Well, here's the thing. Imagine if this was five home runs. Then, then I would want to use it. Yes. So, yeah. Okay, so no. Yeah. Because. You generally want to use them for scoring situations or getting you out of innings. So I got three balls. I got three strikes. All right. But now you have the choice. Do you want to... This will be the fourth ball, which means my guy will go to first base. Or you could go strike one. You're not in a good position. I don't know. Your pitching kind of sucks. Well, thanks. Also, I do want to mention... So does uh, my batting, by the way. My team sucks. That when I interviewed him, he said there were some advanced rules that he recommended playing with if you're looking to play a more advanced version of the game. They're unfortunately not in the rule booklet, though. So once I do my review, which I'm expecting to be a very positive review because I actually really enjoy this game, um, that is something that I'm going to notice. Uh, that I'm going to mention that I wish they would have included those advanced versions of the rules. Two home runs. Let's make that happen. Three. Ah, what'd you get? Three Ks? Right. Three Ks. Strike two. All right. Three, two count. We got a full count, dear. This is big. I got a single. Three Ks. Three, ooh, three singles versus three Ks. Yeah. So we'll do that. I will win the tie, which means he goes to third. He goes to first. And no oh, outs. I suck. <clears throat> all right. Triple play. That's all you need. I wish there was four meeples, too. <laughs> it's completely right? unnecessary, but I want four. I, I got, got two of everything. I got three balls. I've only got two. Ball one. I got three balls. Three double plays. Okay. Three strikes. So, Something. here is okay. your choice. Uh, you can either do the double play, or... And I get two people out, right? <laughs> you would get two people out. No now, I'm not plays, sure if the right? rule specifically covers what would happen on the double play. But in real baseball, it would obviously be most likely this guy and this guy that would be out. So I would assume it would just be that. So you're going to use the tiebreaker chip, I'm assuming, to get the two outs? Well, yeah. All right, so I get the tiebreaker chip, but pew, pew, these two guys are out. Guy's still on third, though, so solid that. Give me a single. Five balls. Ripple play. I got five balls, dear. You've got five balls? I, I didn't hear that. Yeah, I should probably see the doctor. <laughs> Uh, shoot, nothing. I, wait, I got two two doubles. Do you not have anything more than two? So it's either two and two. Be, uh, it's either be a double play or it's going to be a double, and I obviously am going to break the tie. And so, boom, boom, and you get woo! The... So I got one on the board. So I'll just write that here. My go. team sucks. You almost got out of the inning. Uh, three balls. Nope. Nothing? Nope. Ball one. Double. You mean, oh. Three outs. Three doubles. I'm assuming you're going to end the inning. Well, duh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so I am up zero to one after the first inning, and we are going to play the three innings. We will play it out. 
Uh, and I'll talk. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to Melina about this uh, after. Actually, we just talk about it now. So, what do you think about this game? Like normally with games, I like to ask at the end, but you pretty much see everything you need to see right here. Okay, I got. Uh, we need to switch. We do. <laughs> yeah, you can't have my roll either. Good because you can't have mine. Two outs. Oh really? Oh really? Ball. Yeah. 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 Ball. This still up. Yep. Uh, three double plays, which would just be an out, if I get it. Three balls. Uh, you can have your ball. Oh, yeah. Well, what do you think of it so far? No, no, no. I gave you the ball. I don't... I didn't win You the... had three... I had, I had a double play, which means you would have been out. So I, I let you... I'm confused why you got to... I'm confused. What, wait, wait, wait. Okay. I'm so confused as to how you could possibly... What are you confused about? Because I'm done about sports. Don't worry about it. You had three balls. Yeah. I had three double plays. If I would have kept my double play, I think it was, I, I you would have been out. Okay. But I would have had to use my tiebreaker chip, and I don't think it's worth it. And just you for don't want to do that, so I okay. Yeah, now because I, I just gave you a ball. Okay, now I understand. Three kings. That's a strike. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I don't. I don't. Let's do that. Four kings. Two, three. I got three balls. Strike two. Sit you down right here. Triple play, three I of them. I suck. So this guy out. I suck at rolling dice. <laughs> eh, I'm only up one. There's still plenty of time. Three Ks. Four. Four. Four, four of those. Four singles. So woo. Yep, that's what it is. One base. One bagger. I got three outs. I got four balls. Ah. Three triple, pl oh, four, four triple balls. plays. Four balls. Uh, I can end the inning here, and how? Uh, how? Because you have oh, one out, that guy's... and I have four triple plays. Yeah, there's a guy up to bat. Uh, I'm gonna win the tie, and I'm going to get. Well, yeah, you wouldn't. Duh. All right. So, a little bit of a scare there, but after the end of the top of the second, zero to one. All right, let's build on this lead. Nice. I'm gonna pretend that's Tim Tebow. Who's your pitcher? Not Tim Tebow. Well, yeah, Tim Tebow's not a pitcher, dude. I don't know any Home of the run. baseball people. Home run! I don't really care much about baseball. Do you get three Ks? I do have three Ks. Oh, so, you can either let the home run. Okay. Now you well, get Well, like I'm going to let Strike you one. have a home run. Uh, five balls. Oh, I came close. I've got four. Oh, yeah, well. It happened, sorry. Uh, three balls. Three Ks. You can have your strike. Three singles. Four Ks. Oh, strike three. Sit him down. Boom. <laughs> sorry, Timmy. I'm sorry, Timmy t <laughs> Uh, three you can't balls. even win pretend. <laughs> three. <laughs> oh, did you get your strike? Thank you. Don't, don't oh, thank me. It would have been a terrible move to get that ball. Two home runs. Four. Doesn't strikes. matter, strike. Now your pitcher's in a rhythm. He's in a groove. Five balls. Ball one. I don't win. <laughs> uh, two, two doubles. <laughs> three outs. Out. So, two outs. Come on, home run, home run. Give me a tiebreaker on the home run. Two home runs. Two, two. Three strikes. Oh, man. I thought I had that. Three balls. Three strikes. Uh, yeah, so strike two. Hold on to that tiebreaker chip. Three balls. Four strikes. All right, strike three. Out. So for all intents and purposes, we come to the top of the ninth, even though really it's the top of the third. Uh, if you don't score here... I win. Oh, uh, I actually disagree with that sentiment. <laughs> and I'm in the catbird seat. I got the tiebreaker tie chip. Got uh, three double plays. That's I got three. Whoa! Double this is this is. Uh, I don't want to give up the tiebreaker chip just yet. I'll let you have your double. I'll let you have your double. I, I got. I got. I got faith in my closer. I got faith in faith my closer. In your closer. I got faith in my closer. He gave him a double, Is but now he's getting Tim settled. Tebow? No, Tim Tebow doesn't pitch, dear. 
Come you on. just said Tim Tebow was your pitcher not too long ago. I, no, I said I was confused. No. Uh, you were confused? Ball. So. <laughs> Three home runs. Three Ks. So now Genius. I feel like it's a decent time to use oh. this. In hindsight, I probably should have used it already. All right. <laughs> one or one. It's one of those fouls that just three, barely missed it. Three balls. Oh no. Oh no. Oh well, it's just a ball. ball. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it was like one of those fouls that just barely just whoosh, missed. Four Ks. That's solid. Five balls. Oh God. Come on, dear. <laughs> All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Three Ks, that's money. Four balls. Golly, are you kidding me? <laughs> this is bad. This is so You're bad. Right off the board. Yeah, it probably explains why he's pitching so terribly. Tri three well, triple plays. Tim Tebow. No, I got four five balls. balls. Five balls. That would have ended the game. <laughs> oh. Three triple plays. Four triple plays. Three, four balls. Are you going to use your tiebreaker chip? If not, the game is over. <laughs> All right, so ball two. Right. Seems like a waste on a ball. Triple but play. It doesn't end the triple play. I have two triple plays. Two home runs. Uh oh. So I'm gonna use this. And you win. One, two, three. Good game, dear. All right. Uh, so thoughts on the game. And I could have had three scores there if you'd let me do it. If, why would I let you do it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just not gonna use my tiebreaker chip. I'll win at the bottom of the ninth. So what do you think of it? I like it. Yeah, light, very Surprisingly, simple. I like it. And I feel like it does a decent because job. Uh, yeah, the go only ahead. sports game that we've played that I actually like was one where we had actually watched football to play it. Oh, yeah, that was a fun game. <laughs> that was the only one that we've played that I've liked. Yeah, the one where we had the dry erase board? Yeah, well, they weren't dry erase boards, but yeah. Yeah. Whatever, the carbon copy thing. Yeah, for the 1980s. Yeah, the, old, uh, the really old game. Yeah, this is definitely what I'm going to keep. I, I really like it. I think if you like baseball, and especially if you have kids who like baseball, and I don't even think this well, is limited. hold on, hold on. I don't like baseball. Okay. And I enjoyed this game. Okay. Would you say you do think it does a decent job of recreating baseball also? For what I know of baseball, sure. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> the other thing is, I feel like this is not just purely a kid's game. Like, I could see this being the kind of game where if you went to a bar and you played games or something like that with just a buddy, I think this would be... Oh, yeah. It takes up such little table space. And what I really like about it, and I think this is why they did it, is you could roll in the box. So here's offense side, here's defense side, which I think is a nice little use of the box insert. I'm actually a surprisingly big fan of this. This, uh, this is one that I, I saw somebody demoing at Gen Con. Uh, they didn't have a booth or anything, or Origins, and I was like, I want to check that game out, because it looks really cool, it looks right up my alley, and it is. Uh, even though I will say it says it goes up to four players, but that's bogus. How does it go up to four players? Uh, I remember him saying it was, and it says the rules, like, if you're playing with kids and they have smaller hands, you can both roll three. <laughs> Oh, it's a two-player well, game. It's, they're trying to make it it's a family a, game. It's a two-player game. But we could do that with both of our boys. Yeah, but Assuming we won't. Assuming Luke won't put him in his mouth. We won't. That's Sports Dice Baseball from uh, FunWiz. I definitely can recommend this. If you enjoy baseball, if you're in the market for a very light, simple, um, completely luck-driven baseball game. But I really did like this. I think this is one of my favorite sports games that I've played, actually. Which isn't really saying too much, because most of them suck. Uh, but yeah, so Sports Dice yeah, Baseball... Great. Very fun, enjoyable little game. If you're enjoying this coverage or this the thing, be sure to click on the subscribe button down below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Good job, fun whiz. It was a good pep talk.